Madam Foreman, have you reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. Yeah, please, hand it to the bailiff. Will the defendant please rise? Madam Foreman, how do you find the defendant? We, the jury, find the defendant guilty. What? Thank you, Madam Foreman. That bitch! Uh, no, Stanley, please, quiet, quiet. Sentencing will be tomorrow at 10 a.m. What the fuck just happened in there? You lost, Stanley. I didn't lose. You're the lawyer. You lost. I'm truly sorry. Damn it, man. I'm rich. I wanted some of that OJ justice. Maybe the judge will give you probation. No. In this state, first degree fraud carries a mandatory minimum of three to five years. I got it. We bribed the judge. I'm not gonna bribe the judge. Bribe him. I'm not gonna bribe him. Bribe him? Oh, please. Well, I'm not gonna bribe a judge. Bribe him! No, no, bribe no, him. no, no! I told you. I don't practice that kind of law, and I never will. You wanna bribe the judge? You be my guest. I'm sure any shyster on the street will be happy to do it for you. Mal, you're fired. Mr. Popper, is your client ready for sentencing? He is, Your Honor. Do you have anything you'd like to say before the court passes sentence? Your Honor, my client has been convicted of fraud in the first degree, a crime of which he is innocent. <laughs> but even if he were guilty and his customers were defrauded, isn't it better that Mr. Minton, as a resident of Los Angeles, received the money, thereby keeping it in the community, as opposed to some gypsies or traveling Mexicans who would have taken the money out of the community? Please take that into consideration. Yeah, Mr. Minton, you are hereby sentenced to serve a term of no less than three years at the Verlaine State Correctional Facility. Now, normally, your sentence would begin immediately. However, I'm going to delay your incarceration for six months so that you may reorganize the charity that you've established to teach music to retarded children. Thank you, Judge. Yeah, court is adjourned. Teach music to retarded children? That sounded good at the time. I thought you were going to bribe them. I did. Hundred grand in cougar ends doesn't go too far nowadays. Do we win? No. I don't get it. We bribe the judge and I still get a three-year sentence? That was mandatory. The judge couldn't fix that. Now you got six months to set your affairs in order. My affairs are already in order. My legal opinion is that you take a Brazilian vacation permanently. That sounds like fun. I can't do that. Those cougar ends were the last liquid asset I had. The rest of my money's frozen in the bank. I'm not gonna run away and leave seven million dollars behind? Well, Stan, my old man had a saying. You walk through a locker room, you're gonna see some dick. What's that supposed to mean? It means you rip off enough people, eventually you're gonna go to jail. Well, thanks, that's really comforting. Hey, I'm a crooked lawyer. I know I'm going to jail someday. You don't see me crying about it. Ah.